It's a great day, my amazing CEOs. Welcome to the CEO Sales Huddle. My name is Shay Brown. Breaking into the cooking world is very hard to do when you don't have an education. In fact, most experts believe that it's almost impossible to get in because it's so competitive. So without a formal education, well, you might as well just forget it. I'll say it like that. Now, Peter X. Kelly, he was someone a little different. He was a self-taught chef at a very early age, no formal education, but he worked on his craft. As a result, he started a restaurant very, very, very young. And because of his passion, because of his hard work, not only did he become a Michelin chef, but he is like the chef of chefs these days. And do you know what Patrick Kelly's success came from? Basically, it came from, one, his willingness to learn his craft, two, his willingness to put the hard work in, three, having mentors, and four, saying, you know what, no matter what folks say about this industry, I can still get inside even with no formal education. What's my point to you as a CEO? Since most CEOs do not come from a sales background, here's what I want you to know. You can still be successful in business in sales without a formal education. Isn't that very encouraging? I think there's three things that are gonna be number one important. Number one, continue to learn the craft of sales or at least understand the five pillars of sales, which we teach. Number two, you've got to be dedicated to it. Like, like you've got to be willing to be dedicated and say, I'm going to get a little bit better, get a little bit better, get a little bit better. And my team, sales team will get a little bit better and a little bit better, and a little bit better. And then last and most importantly, it's not going to be anything rocket science. You're not going to shout on this. This won't be new news, but you've got to put in the work. You've got to put in the work. You've got to show up and put in the work. Now, again, I know you're doing the best you can. This is where sales leadership comes in. This is where sales positioning comes in. And this is when understanding your sales cycles come in. With that being said, my name again is Shay Brown. Welcome to the CEO Sales Huddle. You, my friend, are incredible. You're an amazing CEO. So as we like to get started every morning, I love to share as we get going every single day. It's, it's our mantra. It's what we believe. It's what we teach. And we say it every single day. And here it is. If you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. Now, I don't know if I need to say anything else, but I'll say it again. If you can't focus on the only area that generates revenue in the business, hear me out. There is no other way to bring in revenue in the business other through sales. So if you can't focus on sales because you're focused on marketing, you're focused on writing an email, you're focused on talking on the phone, you're focused on doing a webinar, you're focused on trying to build a team, you're focused on hiring people, you're focused on a chief technology officer. I get it. You're doing all those things. But if you can't focus on sales, well, you can't be in business. Here's our mantra as CEOs. And I believe that every day a CEO CEO needs to look at their business and they really need to say three things, just three things. You can jot these three things in your notes, learn, earn, and return. Now go ahead and repeat after me. Cause this is important for us as CEOs. This is why we show up for 15 minutes. We're at the three minutes and 30 minute mark right now. We're on day 10 of this month. Yes, I'm here. I'm present with you, but here it is. I have to learn something new in order to earn new revenue from current clients. So I got to take up some new stuff, by the way in order to get new clients and old clients to return. So learn, earn, and what? Return. We have three objectives every single morning. 15 minutes. Believe this is the most powerful 15 minutes you're in. Think of this as if this was like a $50,000 masterclass at all, seriously. And, and you were showing up in this group, and you were here in this mastermind for this reason. Number one, assess daily progress on sales. So we're looking at our sales getting a little bit better every single day. So we at least know where it is. We have an awareness. Number two, address any roadblock. We're at day 20. We understand that this is a shorter month. It's the Thanksgiving month, and we thank, we're thankful for everything we have, but yet we can't slow down. And then number three, we understand the five pillars of sales. Now, I'm going to say those five pillars as quickly as I can because I want you to know what they are. Pillar number one is always what? Sales planning. If you have to meet sales planning, those folks are here every morning. Number two is sales cycles. What is the customer journey? Where are folks in our sales cycle? Number three is what? 
That's right. Sales positioning, the words that we use in our words will make us rich. Number four, sales indicators. We spend about three or four minutes on that every morning on the CEO dashboard, which I think I'm going to show it to you today. I'll show it to you Monday or whatever day we're going to show it to you. And I can't wait. See if I can pull it up. And number five, and this is super important, I believe this is probably the most important thing that we're going to be talking about. And that is sales teams. <laughs> That's how the revenue comes in. Now, for all those folks that are here for the very, very first time, welcome. For all my veterans who show up every single day, I love you checking in. I love the check-in. This is the check-in moment. This is where you can look right below the video and type these words, I'm here. Just put, I'm here. That's just a bat signal to me and you that you're in the present moment. I'm super excited you're here. And if you want to DM me, which I get several DMs a day, so thank you so much. Go over to Instagram and just type in at I am Che Brown. I think it's up here. Let me put it up here. At I am Che Brown. And you can just send me a DM. There it is. At I am Che Brown. Once you send me a DM, say I'm here. I'll respond back. If you listen to the replay, you know what to do. Go ahead and just type in what? Hashtag replay. I love all the replays. Okay, we're at the six minute mark. I got to move on. I'm, I'm, I'm on a rant here this morning, um, but I'm feeling good on day 10. Here's the what, and the what is very, very important. CEO Sales Huddle is a place where we gather to understand how to sell more faster. That's why we show up every single morning. We have three big whys. These, these whys are what drive us. Three, sales growth, accountability, and consistency. Now, we're at the six-minute and 36-minute mark. We promise 15 minutes unless we go into CEO overtime. But I've got to step, step back and say, as a CEO, if you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. It's about sales growth. So we're always looking back, not to beat ourselves up, but to understand how can we grow the revenue. Now, we do have a way of doing that. We spend 15 minutes a day with this broadcast. Sometimes we do CEO overtime, never more than 15 more minutes. Our number one outcome every single day when we show up, we only have, uh oh, this thing is jumping around. We only have one outcome when we show up, and that outcome is $100,000 plus a month of consistent, predictable, reliable income. $100,000 per month of consistent, predictable, reliable income. Doesn't that sound good? I love that. That sounds good. And there's no barrier. The only barrier is you showing up. No, seriously, there's no credit card. There's no check. There's no MasterCard, Visa, American Express, no Zelly swipe, no swipe and succeed. I only ask you to do one thing, show up for yourself and your business. This was created because there was nowhere on the planet where CEOs could gather for 15 minutes at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to focus on the one area of the business. If you buy in this philosophy, and this is so true, the sales is the oxygen to any great business in history. So without sales, well, there's always more money going out than coming in. Now, I don't know if I'm prepared to show this today, but we do have the CEO dashboard. It's still changing the colors and all this cool stuff on it. But I want to go through it. We're at the eight minute marks. So I, I, I made sure we have a couple extra minutes to do this. CEO sales dashboard. This is the heart and soul of why we get together every morning in 15 minutes. I ask you to open up your Excel sheet. So I want you to imagine you have an Excel sheet in front of you. Across the top is numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven through 30. Those represent the days. Coming down the columns, we have five indicators. Now, I'm going to share these five indicators with you quickly, and then you're going, to, you're, you're going to do this. Like, when you receive it, if you haven't received it, everyone that is registered over CEO Sales Huddle will get the updated CEO dashboard. Okay, I'm really proud of this. I'm pleased for this. It doesn't exist. It's helped so many of my clients, and I know with 100% certainty it will help you. But here's how it is. Five things, leads, appointments, offers, deals, and repeat business. So what gets measured gets managed. So I want you to imagine for a moment you have a leads column. And you got one through 30 going to go across. And then coming down, I don't think they can see me, coming down under leads, you got new to the CRM. Now, CRM stands for your customer relationship management system. A lead is just a first name, last name, phone number, and email. That's all it is. And so you're looking at how many leads come into your CRM because leads represent hope. Now, even if you're using a, an Excel sheet, that's fine. Even if you're using business cards, that's fine. Even if you're still back in the 1980s, okay, we're at the nine minute mark, and you're using an index card and putting them in there, that's cool. But then underneath leads, for those that are advanced, you know, we talk about this every day. We talk about different categories. You have engaged leads, 
that means they've taken a step in the last 30 days. They've contacted your office. They've opted in. You may have had a conversation with them. So they're a little more engaged. And then there's what we call referrals. Maybe someone was referred to you. That's a lead. And then maybe you have another category that's qualified. That means you leave qualified. They have an interest, want, or desire. I'm, I'm going I'm to move on. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. Today, I want to talk down at the bottom because we did leads earlier. We do that normally on Mondays, appointments on Tuesdays, offers on Wednesdays. I do a deep dive in these. But because I'm looking at the dashboard now in front of me, you can't see it again. We made some tweaks, I know, for like the hundredth time it feels like, but we're so close. We're so close to releasing it again. We have deals. And I just want to talk about deals for a moment because sometimes people look at deals as closed. I look at deals under five categories. You would have deals and then underneath our dashboard, we have closed. That means deals closed yesterday. So you're always looking at how many deals closed yesterday. And then you can see the last seven days. So you got this week trajectory trajectory by the way and at the end you've got week to date month to date year to date so anyway you got closed but i put underneath there pending now pending is a category to me means we've had a conversation you want to think about it you want to pray about it uh, you want to talk to your partner about it you're not too sure the offer is sitting in front of you by the way and you 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 have it okay those are what i call pending deals now some of my clients will use pending deals They'll use pending partnerships. They'll use pending relationships. Right now, I'm just talking about the money. I don't want to overcomplicate this until we do a class on it. We're at the 11-minute and 20-second mark, so I've got to be very careful here. And then underneath that, here are the three secret sauces that I love. I'm looking here. Under pending, we have hot, warm, and cold. So when, when we put a deal out there, we make an offer, let's say, and let's say you made an offer one-to-one, -one, and the person's saying, i got to think about it. And based on your conversation, based on the relationship, you feel like, look, this is pretty hot. Hot means it's likely they're going to close in the next five days. That's hot to me. Okay, five-day opportunity. They got to think about it. You're getting right back together. Maybe they're moving some money around. Maybe they got to talk to a partner, whatever it is. That's hot. Then I have a category called warm. And, and warm is someone who, who has a proposal. They have the offer. They're thinking about it. But really? This might be a two to four week window. In fact, when we got together on day one, we talked about getting together in about 14 days. All right. So they're still going to be warm. Doesn't mean they're not hot. I'm just saying how I do it. Now, your business and industry is different. But think about if you're measuring that every day and you're looking at the numbers. This is not about know your numbers yet. This is all about just having a CEO dashboard, right? Because what gets measured gets managed. And then underneath that, you have cold. Now, now, Cole, these are folks that, well, you know, they're going to be beyond 30 days. You made an offer. They thought about it. Get back to me next month. Get back to me in two months. It's something I need. Um, I don't have the money now. I don't have it in the budget. They're cold, but you at least made the offer for a deal to them. Okay, kind of cool, right? So those are what we call CEO dashboards. We're at the 12-minute or 13-minute mark, so I want to move on, but I want to make sure you have that. The other two segments that we get into every single morning that's, uh, well, super important to me is we like to celebrate our wins. This is one of our favorite segments. Look back over the last week. Today's Friday. We're depending on when you're watching this, obviously. But look back over the last five days. We're at day 10 of this month. Again, depending on when you're watching this, some of you get the podcast, some of you watch the replays. But look back over the last five days. What are you most proud of? We do this at the end of every week. What was your biggest accomplishment this last week? What do you want to brag about just this last week? Pretty important. Pretty cool. Gotcha, Shay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. And now once we've done that, what was your biggest roadblock this last week? And, you know, when, I, when I'm honest with myself, there are a number of days that the biggest roadblock is just Shay Brown. Like I was my biggest roadblock. I decided that uh, based on my mindset, based on my energy level, that I was going to do something other than what I promised myself I was going to do when I wrote it down inside of my my day one journal, okay? Um, what's preventing you today from moving forward? And number three, what's the one thing you can do today? For me, it's, it's all about planning. I, I think there's a, there's, a, there's, there's a time for planning and there's a time for massive action, right? And I'm normally always in massive action. Uh, today's a day that we're gonna step back and kind of plan some things we're doing over the next mm, 30 days. We're really 20 days between now and the end of the month. And I'm carefully looking at some things that we're going to be doing, the communication we're going to be having. And I don't get a chance to do that often, but 
you know, it's a day of planning for me. And that's the one thing I can do, because if I do it, we're going to be more efficient, more effective and have more impact. Now, sometimes I can plan too much. Right. I just say, well, forget it. We'll work it out as we go. But there, there's some things we will look at doing. There's some value we're going to bring to you. We appreciate the feedback for all of you who who communicate with me and send me the DMs. I think you can do it over at uh, at I am Che Brown. And you say, hey, Shay, I like that. Can you give me more of this? I appreciate it. We got the clock idea because of feedback. OK, we're at the 15 minute mark. Um, we're, we're just about done, actually. And I always say when we get to the 15 minute mark, uh, we have something called CEO overtime. And CEO overtime is when I may take an extra, I don't know, two, four minutes, maybe, and never more than 15. And I may just give a point. Like, I love to drive home the point, learn, earn, and return. So I love to review this because I believe that every CEO needs to understand these five pillars. Even if they don't do the five pillars, even if they manage the five pillars, even if they hired someone that's handling these five pillars, they need to be aware of it and understand it on a daily basis. And so that's CEO overtime. But the feedback with the clock of me saying, hey, where are we at? What time is it? How much time do we have left? That came as a result of the feedback from you guys. So thank you so much. If you got feedback, just go to at C at I am J Brown at I am J Brown and drop me a message. I'd be love to hear from it. All right, here we go. Let's go into overtime real quick. There are five sales pillars that every CEO must know. Number one, sales planning. We've got to plan our revenue. We've got to plan our lead systems. We've got to plan our strategy. We've got to understand step by step how we're going to do more, get more, have more, impact more without working as hard. Number two, sales cycles. How long is it taking for folks to kind of go through? That's our revenue engine. That's the customer journey. If they start on first base, which is they're not even in our database and we get a hit and they go to second base and they're, let's say now first base and now an engaged lead. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. And then when they get an engaged lead, maybe they, they hear a presentation, maybe they have an experience. They're on second base. They at least are able to listen to a presentation and learn more about us. We give that presentation and now maybe we move them to third base. That's the cycle, by the way. Now they're on third base. They're thinking about it. They may buy, they may not buy. We got to get them home, but they're at least thinking about it. And then there's sales positioning, which is, well, at the end of the day, our language, the messaging, the words that we're using, our communication style, very, very important. And then there's sales indicators, and then there's the sales team. So, so you, you have these five sales pillars. We must learn something new every single day, which means we get better, to earn repeat business from existing clients. That means we take new stuff to clients that help make them better in order to return revenue from new and existing clients. And I believe that with every fiber in my body. Um, as we close out, I want to close out with these words that I love to share as we start it. If you can't be in sales, you can't be in business. I'll say it again. If you can't be in sales, you can't be in business. The belief for many is that sales equals revenue. And that's not really true. That's not really true. Action equals sales. Sales equals action and sales equals revenue. The key is there's got to be some action. And that's the key. So I'm going to encourage you to go out there and take action. Get your team into action. Get your team into motion. Go find people with a problem. You will make a difference. We're at the 4, 18-minute mark. I promise keep the 15 minutes. We've had three minutes of CEO overtime. You're amazing. Day 10 starts now. You go out there with your CEO dashboard. You track it, and I'll see you on day 11, 12, 13, day 13. Make it a great day, everyone, and we'll make some good things happen. We connect again next time. Peace to all my amazing, successful CEOs. We out of here.